Today we'll solve cumulative assessment number three from Maasr book. Look at with me about question number one, choose the correct answer, letter E. Two over seven product by three over five equals six over thirty-five. Why? So three times two equals six and five times seven thirty-five. Then we can write two over seven. And question letter B, five over four product by the inverse about it. Then we must write here five over four. Okay, product by E numbers will be one. E number product by the reciprocal about this number, the result will be one. Then we can write five over four. Which shall letter C, four over five divided by itself equal one. E number divided by itself equal one. Which shall letter D? We have 34.25 divided by 0 0.25 equal space divided by 25. In this example, we will product by 100 because the denominator here is a point after two places. We must convert the point in denominator by product by 100 because the divisor must be converted to the whole numbers by cancel the point, product by 100 from numerator and denominator. Then the point here will be canceled. Then the result will be 3425. Choose letter C. Which a letter E comparing between the numbers 1 over 4 divided by half or 1 over 8. We can write 1 over 4 and write convert here from division to multiplication. Write reciprocal about 1 over 2, it will be 2 over 1. 2 divided by 2, 1. 4 divided by 2 equal 2. 1 times 1 equal 1. 1 times 2 equal 2 is in half. Greater than 1 over 8 because half we can convert from fraction here to decimal number. Half it will be 0 0.5 by product by 5 numerator and numerator. 1 times 5 equal 5. 2 times 5 equal 10. 5 over 10 it will be 0 0.5. And we have here 1 over 8 to convert it by product to 125 numerator and numerator. The result will be 125 thousandths. Okay, and what about uh, next question? Now we will solve next uh, example, letter F. We have 3 over 8 product by space equal uh, 5 over 6. We want to find here the first factor. We have the product between two factors here. First factor 3 over 8 product by second factor equal 5 over 6. To find the first factor, you must find the quotient of the number 5 over 6 by first or second factor. And then you can write 5 over 6 here, convert from division to multiplication, and write the inverse about 3 over 8 will be 8 over 3. And then you can sample 6 divided by 2 equal uh, 3 and 8 divided by 2 equal 4. Uh, 3 times 3 it will be 9, 4 times 5 equal 20. And the result here will be uh, 20 over 9, which shall letter F. The result will be what? 20 over 9. Okay, the result here will be uh, 20 over 9. Put 20 over 9 here. If you won't find the result exactly or not, put 20 over 9 here in the space and product between them. Write 20 over 9, product by 3 over 8, and 3 divided by 3, 1, 9 divided by 3, equal 3, 20 divided by 4, equal 5, 8 divided by 4 equal 2, 2 times 3 equal 6, and 1 times 5 equal 5, it get me 5 or 6 exactly. Then the result here, you must write 20 over 9, about which shall letter F. Question number 2, complete. From the model, he give us the model here, and you won't find from this model 2 over 4 divided by 3 over 8. We know 2 over 4 divided by 3 over 8 to convert from division to multiplication. You must try the reciprocal about 3 over 8, 8 over 3. And then you can sample 4 divided by 4, 1, 8 divided by 4 equal 2. And then 2 times 2 equal 4, 1 times 3 equal 3. Then we have 1 and 1 over 3. Okay, but we won't find from these models we have. 2 over 4 
divided by 3 over 8. He gives us this model here. We have this model. And divide the first force part here. And he write about first force, 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 and force. And each one divided to its, to its. Okay, and you will find how many three eighths in two forces. The result will be one and third. Okay, three eighths here. One, two, three. Three eighths, how many part in two forces? We have two forces, then you must color two forces, this part and this part. How many three eighths in two forces? In two forces here, how many? Three eighths, we have one, one, two, three, we have three eighths here, and one over eight remainder, one remainder. Then the result will be one, two, three, it contains to one. Give me full one. Then in three, in two forces, we have three eighths found it one times. And we have the remainder, one part from three parts understood or not again again first step we will draw the model again i will explain it again the draw model and divided it four parts okay and i will color the hair right one over four one over four one over four four color the two parts and i want to know how many parts here in two over eight. How many three eights in two over eight? The list of multiplication between eight and four equal eight. Then we must divide it. Each model. Here from this part. Two parts because the list of multiplication between eight and four, it will be eight. Then four times two equal eight. Then you must divide this part, two parts. Okay, and then you must count how many three eights in two over four. We have two over four here. How many three over eights? We have three over eights, one, and the remainder one from three parts. One, two, three. And the result will be one and one over three. Okay, next question. Fifth of 25, it's meaning 1 over 5 product by 25. It's the meaning of what? The meaning of fifth. Fifth of 25, it's meaning what? 1 over 5 product by 25. Fifth of 25, it will be what? It will be 5. Then the result here, it will be 5. Question and letter C. Eight divided by two over three equal eight product by what? We can write the inverse about this number, two over three. It will be three over two, write the inverse. Question and letter D. 3.8 product by 2.5. We can write the product between two numbers. And the point will be after two places because the point here after one place and here one place. Then you can write 38 product by 25. 5 times 8 equal 40. 0 and the carry of 4. 3 times 5, 15. 15 plus 4, it will be 19. Plus and write 0. 2 times 8 equals 16. 6 and the carry of 1. 2 times 3 equals 6 plus 1 equals 7. Write 0. 9 plus 6 equals 17. 7 and the carry of 1. 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus Mm, 7 equal 9, then write 970 and the point after two places, and the result will be 9.7. Cancel 0 here. Okay, then the result will be about position uh, letter E. It will be what? 
again, uh, 5 times 8, 40, 0, and the carry of 4. 3 times 5, 15, plus 4, 19, plus 0. 2 times 8, 16, 6, and the carry of 1. 2 times 3, 6, plus 1, 7. 0 plus 0 equals 0. 9 plus 6 equals 15. 5 and the carry of 1. 2 plus 7 equals 9. And the result will be here. 950 and then point the point after uh, two places and the result will be 9.5. Okay, question here, letter E. If 10 point, you give us 10.35 divided by 23 equal 4.5. Then he won't find product between 23 and 4.5. The product between divisor and the quotient will give us the dividend, 10.35. Okay, 10.35. But we have the point here was after two places, and we have point here after one place. Okay, again, 10.35 divided by 2.3 equal 4.5. He won't find the product between 23 and 4.5. First step in this example, we must product by 10 here. It's meaning 103 and 5 tenses divided by 23 because we will product by 10. First number, numerator and numerator because the divisor here must convert from decimal number to whole number product by 10 here. And this number projected by 10. This number will be 10.5, 103.5 divided by 23. The result will give us 4.5. It's the example. And then the product between 4.5 and 23, the result will be the dividend 103 and 5. And 5 tenses. Okay? It's the result about this example. Okay or not? Okay, understood. Explain again. First step, in this example, we must cancel the point in the divisor. If you want to find any example about two numbers and denominator was decimal, you must cancel the point here from the point from denominator. The second number here, we call the denominator or divisor. You must cancel the point in the divisor by product by 10, the divisor and the dividend. We will product here by 10. To product by 10, you must move the point. Here, this point, moving to right-hand side by one place. The result will be 10, 103.5, 103 and 5. Divided by here, product by 10, the result will be 23, cancels the point. Then 103 and half divided by 23, it will be 4.5, 4.5. And then if we found the product between 4.5 and 23, the result will be what? 103 and half. Give me the dividend. Because the dividend equals the divisor multiplication by the quotient. The result will be 103 and 5 tenses. Question letter F. 7.4 and 5 divided by 100. Who can tell me this example? First step you must convert the divisor by product by 100 numerator and denominator to cancel the point here in the numerator. And then the result will be 745 over one. The result will be 745. Or you can solve the example by another method by using the rule. 7.45 divided by 100, it's meaning product by 100. You must move the point right hand side by two places, by 745. Then we have two solution about this example, about letter F. Question number three. So had divided 127 and half Egyptian lira among her three thumbs. Find the share of each one. Okay, we can find the price of each one on the chair which one by divided by three divided 127 and half divided by three because uh, we have three sons here. Okay. 
Okay, this question. Question number three, letter E, divided uh, 127 and half by three. 12 divided by three equal four. Seven divided by three equal two, and the remainder one is a point. 15 divided by three equal five. Then the result will be 42 and half gypsum lira. Okay, the share of each one. Which letter B finds the value of M here? Which letter B? We have 3 over 4 product by M equal 3 over E. We have two factors, the product of them equals 3 over E. To find each one of them, you must find the dividend between 3 over 8 and 3 over 4. Then M will be equal 3 over divided by 3 over 4 means the value of m equal here convert from division to multiplication and write the inverse about 3 over 4 to be 4 over 3 means the value of m equal 4 divided by 4 equal 1 8 divided by 4 equal 2 and then 3 divided by 3 equal 1 3 divided by 3 equal 1 1 by 1 to 1 1 1 times 2 equal 2 then the value of m here it will be 1 over 2 question number 2 3 over 4 divided by m equals 3 over 8. Okay, we won't find what we won't find. To find the divisor, you must find the quotient of the dividend and the quotient. To find the value of m, you must divide it the dividend by the quotient such that 60 divided by what equal 6 to find the value of m you must divide 60 by 6 60 here refers to the dividend and 6 refers to the quotient to find the divisor here you must find the divided between uh, divisor and the quotient then in this example to find the value of m you must write 3 over 4, the divisor is divisor m. To find the divisor, you must find the result. If you put the first 3 over 4, the divisor of the dividend will equal the dividend. The dividend divisor by the quotient, it will be the dividend. The dividend equal 3 over 4, and the quotient 3 over 8. To find the value of m, you must write 3 over 4 divided by 3 over 8. 3 over 4 reverse to the dividend, and 3 over 8 reverse to the quotient. Then the divisor here, m will be equal, 3 over 4, product by 3 over 8, write 8 over 3. 3 divided by 3 equal 1, and 3 divided by 3 equal 1, 4 divided by 4 equal 1, 8 divided by 4 equal 2, means the value of m will be 2 over 1, 2 will be 2.